Good morning. So we've spent our first weekend at our house. It's nice having a bedroom to sleep in and not be out in the condo. Just walking the boys to a summer camp that's at the school, which is right next door to us, but we gotta go around. So we're gonna do that. Leo just showed up a little later start this morning. I'm um, gonna finish up the bathroom doors and then put the closet doors on and then start going on the rental more. And then we've got another guy coming in. He's gonna dig down the road we're walking here. Got to put a conduit in so we can run cable down to get internet to our place. The other conduit was too far, wouldn't work. So we could redig and put more pipe in. So another unexpected expense, but we want to have internet at the house. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna walk to the school. Be the walk they take every day once school starts in November. All right, so Wilmar is continuing with the conduit for the electrical. I'm just gonna show you how they do that here. Good morning, it is Tuesday. <laughs> Had to think about that for a sec. I've been being lazy this week. Just doing small things in our house to get it ready. Wilmar is still continuing to do the conduit in the first rental. I think he's almost done that. Our friends from Canada, Jackie and Jeff, brought us a dryer vent, which is uh, hard to find here. I also found, which was hard to find, there's only one, which is the actual hose for the dryer. So we get that done. And uh, Leo's just welding up the window frames so we can cut those out, get those put in, make the sparks fly. So yeah, Leo loves welding. He does uh, iron work. Our friend Corinne is an artist and she'll come up with drawings and do it on a big scale. And then he will take the iron and then weld it and bend it so that it looks really nice. I did, uh, one house had a bunch of monkeys for their railing up on their upper level of their house. Uh, so yeah, she did all the drawing and then he did all the iron work for that. So it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Um, we just went up to the hardware store and got that stuff and yeah, I need to find something to do. <laughs> all right, so it's afternoon now. Uh, Leo's got all the window frames framed out and I'm just starting to paint those with a special protective paint for steel so it doesn't rust. So yeah, getting that done and then tomorrow's gonna cut the windows out on here and get that all welded in. <laughs> And then we're gonna get the window company here to measure and get those made as well. Um, but yeah, Wilmar's still plugging away at the conduit and the electrical. He's learning, isn't he? And uh, yeah, we got, I think that's the last one. He's gonna sand some of the rust off and then finish painting it. And I've been painting the closet frame in the boys' room as well all day. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday, middle of the week. Um, Shane had a request this morning for Leo to install the dryer vent, so that's what he's cutting right now. <laughs> Shane's 
Wilmar is still working away at the conduit for the electrical. I think he just has a little bit left to do in the living room area. Maybe run some 220. It should be done that today. The windows are going to get cut out today, so I'll show you that. That's one thing we've done in our house and the rentals is we put a lot of electrical outlets in. Better to have more. <laughs> it seems like, like the older Costa Rican homes, they don't have a lot of electrical outlets with technology and stuff like that nowadays. It's better to have more places, especially for people that are coming down to stay. Some people do work when they're on vacation. That's why they can stay longer. So we want to be able to make sure that if you are one of those people, you can still work when you're here. Yeah, so now I have to catch breakfast. I gotta get some eggs and some bacon. You'll do. You look tasty. Eggs are over there. Good morning, lazy morning. <laughs> Just been editing two weeks ago video. A little bit behind because their internet's been down. Um, but yeah, uh, lazy morning for me. The guys have been working though. Yesterday, Leo got the frames put into the windows after they were cut out. So those are all welded in and um, siliconed and painted. So we got a nice little one up here. The living room and that's a bathroom one. And then we got a big one in the bedrooms just to let a lot of light in. So we got it right there. Guys came this morning to measure for windows. So on Monday, we're gonna go to Nicoya, get those ordered so we can get the windows in and not let the rain in. Uh, Wilmar is continuing on the conduit right now. Uh, we had to figure out where to put the fridge and I came up with an idea for some storage too. All right, so up here, we're gonna frame it out across to where the bathroom door starts here and then create a cavity up there for extra storage of towels and um, mugs and stuff like that so it can be locked up. It's one thing about small places, you don't have a lot of storage. We are gonna build a shed at some point, we gotta figure out which way we're gonna go there and how much that's gonna cost. Might have to be a little bit, so I don't know. <laughs> that way we just have extra storage for stuff, so yeah, figured that would work. All right, in the kitchen, this is the living room behind me here. In the kitchen, we've got the wall at the bathroom, so there's gonna be a cabinet there with a cooktop and then a microwave is going to be up on the wall and blender and stuff in the corner. Sink here and then down here we're going to have the fridge and then a little kind of eating bar that comes out here. Boys are over there at their camp right now. Let's spy on them. Let's see if we can catch them in here. I think they're having a snack right now. You guys having a snack? Is it good? School so close to our place. <laughs> That's the building and our school is in there. 
So yeah, Leo's uh, working on our bathroom door, getting the hardware put on that. And at least we can close that off now. We gotta still figure out a lock system for that. So we're gonna look when we're gonna go to Liberia next. We're gonna go to the store we go to where we got all our door handles and stuff. See what they have for locking mechanisms. Next week will be a little more work going on and not so much lazing around, but it's nice because we're just getting settled into our house here. I'll give you one of these. <laughs> yeah, Shane has almost got the place set up. She's just, we're just waiting for the doors to go on, the closet doors, and I'm going to show you guys the whole inside of how she's got it set up. Good morning, it's Friday. I need to shave. So the guys are working on the electrical and the plumbing now in the container. I'm going to show you that. Also, some of the insulation is going in. So yeah, we should be able to start drywalling next week. It's going so much quicker with just one, and now that we've done it once, we know all the little processes and stuff. Still digging holes for the internet. I guess they're coming tomorrow now. It's just, <laughs> we might have internet one day. Um, yeah, I'll just show you what they're doing here. I just went out to the hardware store to get some more wire and some pipes and stuff like that. <laughs> MC Hammer? Hammer time. Hammer time. So I'm just gonna silicone uh, any holes and stuff like that in the container. Keep the bugs out. So just uh, cleaning up some of the stuff on the floor in the container from all the cutting and drilling. So yeah, now I'm gonna peel all the stickers off the outside because I wanna get the painting done soon before the windows come, then I don't have to mask the windows off. And it'll be cooler in here with that too, so when we're working, it's much better. Good morning, it is Saturday. I see Shane in the background there. We're out in Carrillo. Our friend Esteban got a hold of me couple days ago and uh, we got to go on a mission Pinocchio has been eaten by a, a whale make him sneeze. Oh, make him mad. so we got to go on his boat try and rescue him now nah, he actually messaged uh, he's got a bunch of uh, hotel owners from Nosara coming out and he's taking them taking us out to, to find the whales and uh, making a couple videos for him, so I'm gonna get some more footage for that. And he asked if he wanted to join him, so yeah, it's cool that he reached out. It's always uh, fun to get on the boat and then go and try and find some whales to see. So yeah, I'll uh, put it in the vlog a little bit today and uh, just show you guys another thing you can do here.
All right, so we just got back from the boat tour. We saw a couple whales off in the distance. Didn't see any dolphins this time. Did catch the fish though, which is cool. And uh, Esteban gave us half of the fish, so we're gonna barbecue that up or make a Thai curry with it. So that'll be good. Um, but yeah, um, tours like that we can set you guys up with when you stay with us. Just let us know beforehand. It's a really cool experience. Uh, unfortunately, this time we just didn't get to see the, the animals up close. But I mean, we've been a few times and uh, every other time we've seen them uh, up close. So yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.